Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Oz's Fish Room. This is another update on my N. Brashardi tank. Uh, things are looking pretty cool. Um, as each day progresses you can see more and more detail with the fry. Um, you can see their little fins. Um, there's definitely a lot more definition in these little lumps of mass. Um, now you can see they're actually N. Brashardis. And they are cool looking. Their fins are are translucent even when they're adults. Um, so it's uh, it's kind of cool because they actually look like uh, adults. Uh, you know, but they're just miniature. <laughs> it's pretty darn cool. Um, there's the papa. He's out right now. And um, that's his post right there where he hangs out. And then mama's over here. She usually claims this rock right here as her home. And um, they're both just checking me out right now. So, um, the fry are just cruising around the entire tank at this point. They're no longer primarily affixed to the original location uh, where Mama was letting them swim around. Now they're basically all over the tank. Papa's coming over to see what I'm doing. Sure, I'm not doing anything or harming anyone. There's Mama looking at me. So we're nearing the three week mark here now. These fry are about three weeks old. I think when the Ember Shardy adults, um, well, I wouldn't even say they're adults right now. It's just this fish is uh, somewhat of an anomaly in that they breed at such a young age. Um, when these fish become larger, and what I would consider adults and they're like, you know, in the three plus inch range, then um, I think their fry will be larger, probably close to the size that these fry that are about three weeks old are now. Um, I'm not certain, of course, but um, these were really tiny fry. I mean, obviously fry are tiny to begin with, but these were like extra tiny and um, I put a little bit of uh, extra mesh around the, the filter so that none of the fry could get potentially sucked up in there and that seems to have worked out fine um, another thing about this particular species that I noticed is um, along with a little research um, I've concluded um, that they don't like uh, frequent water changes, of course, um, that's something that uh, people would never tend to entirely agree on. Of course, people are going to say you need water changes on a regular basis. Um, I guess that would basically be defined what is a regular basis. Um, you'd have to determine that uh, depending upon the size of the tank and how many fish are involved. And, yeah, usual suspects, but um, I do tend to change their water about once every one and a half to two weeks and try to keep the temperature as close as possible as to what the uh, temperature in the tank is, even though that's a best practice in general. I am extra sensitive to this particular species. Um, based on the research I've done, and of course, um, the fish aren't going to complain about that. But, um, yeah, they are sensitive. They like hard water, and they like the pH around 8 plus, so 
That's where I'm keeping it at about eight, one, eight, two. So it's interesting too. Some of the uh, the fry are uh, really dark, like this particular guy right here. If I can get a good look at him. Yeah, I mean the other ones are so light. This little guy is so dark. I'm not sure what that means. Um, as far as I know, a particular genus and species of fish, uh, they are all basically identical. Um, uh, well, with this particular fish. Um, an Enbrashardi is an Enbrashardi, and there's not a whole ton of variations. Um, they all almost look identical. The um, differences would primarily be reflected on their age. Uh, I'm uh, extending the length of this video, uh, mainly just so everybody can see the fish and just appreciate them. And of course, I'm over filtering this tank. This is a C4 fluval, um, which is good up to about 70 gallons. And this is uh, a 29 gallon tank. I like this 29 gallon tank. Um, it's tall for a smaller tank. And um, it's not too long. 30 inches long, I believe. Papa. A whole two inches long. And Mama probably slightly smaller. Mama's catching up to size and, and Papa here. Okay, everybody, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks again for tuning in, and until next time.